Hey people, how are you doing today? Thank you for always coming back. Thank you for always coming back to watch my video. Please do well to subscribe to this channel and turn on your notification for more content, okay? So in today's video, I'll be sharing the UK schools that accept HND top class for masters, okay? I know a lot of people don't really know that they can do their masters without having to do um, pre-masters, PGD, you know, all of that. So you can actually do your masters with your HND in these schools that I'm going to mention. In okay. case you are interested in this, just watch this video and make sure you watch to the end. Thank you so much, okay? So without wasting much of your time, let's jump right into the video. The first school on my list is Edinburgh Napier University. So this is my school and I'm also a HND holder, yes. And I'm doing my master's, not pre-master's, okay? So Edinburgh Napier University is one of the schools in the UK that accepts HND for masters okay so they have three payment plans okay so the first one is you paying 50 percent in october and then the balance in january remember you have to pay your deposit first okay you must have paid a certain amount of deposit and secured your slots okay so now when you enroll you now start paying okay so the first one is you pay 50 percent in october and the balance in january the second one is you can pay in three installments okay pay in october january and march all right then the third one is paying in six months like you spread the fee across six months starting from october until march this is for those starting their course in september i think they have a good payment plan yeah you can just choose the one that is more comfortable for you okay that's one thing i like about this payment plan it makes everything flexible it makes the payment of school fees flexible all right next university in the uk that accepts HND for masters is the swansea university in swansea university you are allowed to pay your fees in three installments okay the first installment you pay 33 percent the second one 33 percent and the last one 34 percent that is how you pay your fees in Swansea University. Please disclaimer everything I'm saying in this video is as seen on each school's website. I did my research. All this I'm saying in this video that from the school's websites. All right. The next school in the UK that accepts HND for masters is the Robert Gordon University. Okay. And Robert Gordon University has two payment options okay that means you will choose between two installment plan and three installment plan so in the two installment plan 50 percent is due by your enrollment then another 50 percent is due by february that is for september intake then in the three installment plan 34 percent is due by enrollment then 33% due by November 1st and the last 33% due by January 1st, okay? This is for those starting in September. If you are starting in January, it is still the same two options, but then the months will now differ, okay? University of South Wales is another school that accepts HND and third class for masters, okay? University of South Wales requires you to pay 50% of your first year's course fee, okay? So this is required for you to secure your place at the university and must be paid before you apply for your visa. Of course, this is the same with every other school. You need to pay your deposit first to secure your place, okay? So after this, you now have the option of choosing between two options to pay the remaining fee. The first option is you paying in full, okay? The next option is now the installment payment where they are going to charge equal amounts every month until you finish the payment. The next university in the UK that accepts HND is the University of West mm -hmm. Scotland. The deposit should be paid at the point of enrollment, okay? Then the balance of your tuition fees is paid in seven monthly installments so every month you are required to pay them all right and that is tenth okay every tenth of each month you are required to pay and you're going to pay seven times which is really okay like really nice all right so the next school we'll be looking at is the sheffield halam university okay sheffield halam is another school that offers admission 
to HND holders and for the class holders. Okay, so for September starts, you pay 25% in 1st of December, 1st of February, and 1st of April. Okay, this is like three times payment. Okay, three installments. All right, so and the same is applicable for january starts okay but remember the month differs but it's just the same thing okay so the next school in the uk that accepts hnd for masters is the suffolk university let's look at their payment plan oh, international students are permitted to spread the payment of their annual tuition fees over to installments minus cash deposits that means you must have paid your deposit to get your cash then after that the first installment payment will be 50 percent of the remaining fee which will be due upon enrollment with the remaining 50 percent payable within 14 days of the start of the second semester wow so for suffolk university after your deposit you pay 50% at enrollment, then pay the remaining 50% at the next semester, 14 days after you might have started your second semester. That is it for the Suffolk University. Next university that accepts HND for masters is the University of Stirling. So the only option available in this university is the option of paying your fees in two installments. Okay, you pay 50% prior to enrollment. That means you pay the 50% to secure your place. Then at enrollment, you pay another 50%. Then the remaining balance of your fees will be due after approximately five months from the official start date of your course. Okay, so this means that the remaining balance of your fees will be paid five months after you might have started, which is probably second, second semester or third semester. All right. The next university we'll be looking at is the University of Derby. Okay. The University of Derby is one of the schools that accepts HND holders for masters. Let's look at their payment plan. The payment plan allows you to spread your course fees for each semester over four installments with a minimum payment being required before your enrollment can be confirmed. So for example, you are asked to pay 25% deposit to secure your place. So after paying that, you now have three other payments for you to be able to complete your payments. That is it for the University of Derby. The next university that accepts certain day holders for masters is the Canterbury Christchurch University. Okay, you have two payment options. The first one is payment in full, and the second one is payment in two equal installments at the end of September. That is, if you are for September intake, you pay 50% at the end of September, and at the end of January, you pay another 50% this is how it works but if you are for uh, if you are starting in January it's going to be different okay so this is it for the Canterbury Christ Church University the next university offering admission to HND holders is the Bangor University now let's look at their payment plan they also have two options option one is to pay the tuition fee in full that is full payment at once then the next option is to pay your tuition fee in three installments all right so for those starting in september the first installment will be 50 percent of your tuition fee and this should be paid before or during your enrollment you must pay this before the last date of your enrollment the second installment that you pay is 25 percent and this should be paid by the end of january the third one is 25 percent which is the remaining 25 percent of your fees and should be paid by the end of april this is for those starting in september and for january intakes it is still the three installments okay but with different dates so the next school that accepts HND for masters is the university of sheffield now let's quickly look at their payment plan the first option they have is the payment in full and the second option is payment in two installments that is you pay 50 percent on october 1st then pay the remaining 50 percent on february 1st this is for september intakes all right so let's move on to the next university which is the university of bradford this university accepts hnd and third class holders for masters admission okay so let's look at their payment plan after paying 
to secure your place, that is paying your deposit at this university, you will also be required to pay 50% of your fees at enrollment. Then after that, you have to select between two options. The first payment plan is paying in two months, paying in January. This is for September intakes. You pay in January and March. Then there's also another option of paying in four months okay so you have to choose either you pay in december january february march or you choose paying twice okay next school offering admissions to hnd holders and third class holders is the london metropolitan university london metropolitan university has two payment options where you can choose from so the first one is two equal payments whereby you pay 50% on enrollment, okay? And pay another 50% by 31st of December. That is if your course is starting in September, okay? If your course is starting in January, you pay 50% on enrollment, okay? And pay the other 50% in May, all right? Then the next option is nine equal payments, okay? This one requires you to pay 50% at enrollment just like the first one then the eight the remaining balance i mean will be spread across eight months okay so you'll be debited on the last working day of each month until you complete the payment okay so the next university is the university of hall now let's look at their payment plan university of hall has only one option okay that is apart from paying in full you can also pay in three installments all right so you'll be required to pay 34 percent on enrollment then after that you pay another 33 percent on the fourth month okay then after that again you pay another 33 percent on the seventh month so it splits into three 34 percent on enrollment 33 percent on the fourth month and 33 percent on the seventh month that is it for university of hall this university is the solent university in this university you'll be required to pay 50 percent of your fees before your cast will be issued to you then after that you pay 50 percent during enrollment okay after enrollment the next 50 percent will be paid before your work placement okay that is to say that this school has two installment plan okay because the first one you pay it to secure your place before your cash will be issued. So the next two is the installment plan. Okay. So next university is the University College of Birmingham. Okay. Now let's look at their payment plan. In this school, you are required to pay a four thousand pound deposit to secure your place. Okay. After that, you will then pay another fifty percent. Of your tuition fees at enrollment okay then after you might have enrolled you will pay another 50 percent at the start of your second term or over six installments meaning that when you've paid to secure your place then pay 50 percent at enrollment it will remain 50 percent now you have the option of paying that 50 percent at once or spreading it over six months okay so it's actually nice that is for the university college of birmingham all right so the next university offering admissions to hna and third class holders is the anglia ruskin university now let's take a look at their payment plan in this university you can pay in two installments but you're going to pay 60 percent at registration if you're starting in january you pay 60 percent at registration pay one third in april and pay the final third in june okay they are starting in september after paying 60 percent at registration you pay one third in november and the final third in january okay the next university is the university of essex now let's look at their payment plan in this university you can either pay the whole fee for the year in one go which is paying at once or you can pay by timely installment okay so the installment plan is that you must pay the first part of your installment as part of your online registration for you to be able to register without it you'll not be able to register so after paying the first installment as part of your registration subsequent installment for 
Term two and term three will be collected on specific dates. Okay, so on the school website, they did not mention these specific dates. Okay, but they stated that it will be listed and emailed to the students. Okay, after they might have registered. Okay, the next university is. Harriot Watt University. In this university, you can pay your tuition fees in six monthly payments, okay? So what they do is they calculate your total fees and less the amount you've already paid, okay? That means you must have paid your deposit by now. So they less the deposit you've already paid and then divide the remaining balance into six months. That is the amount you'll be paying monthly for six months, okay? Next university is the Roehampton University. This university has four options, a whole four options, okay? So now let's look at the options. The first option is the full payment payment options. Here you are required to pay your fees in full, okay? And they also stated that there is a 2% discount for those who pay their, their fees in full, okay? Then option two is where you have two installment payments, okay? So the first installment is 50%, whereby you pay it immediately, 50%. Then the next one will be another 50% due in april okay so this scenario is for those starting in january so if you are starting in january you pay your first 50 percent at enrollment then the next 50 percent will be in april the same year okay so the next option is three installment plan here you pay 33 percent immediately remember this is for january intake you pay 33 percent in january pay another 33% in February and pay the last 34% in April, okay? The last option has six installment payments, right? So you pay from January until June, monthly payments until the whole fees are paid. So the last but not the least university is the University of Gloucestershire. This university also offers admissions to HND holders, okay? Now, let's look at their payment plan. This university, you are required to pay £3,000 advance payments as your deposit to secure your place. Then, following that will be another 50% of the remaining balance at the point of enrollment, okay? Then, after you must have paid this, the remaining balance will now be paid in January and April, okay? That is it with schools that accept HND and for class for masters, okay? Hope this video is helpful. When I get more schools, I will come back and update the list. Remember, these schools I mentioned are the schools that have been certified that they accept HND for master's program, okay? So I wish you good luck as you start your applications. Thank you for watching, and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.